welcome back to the Designer Direct series. Today we're going to be covering key six, which is markers, key seven, which is tension, and key eight, which is holding position. Markers are really important because when you finished your piece following the visual format, it's difficult sometimes to see where you are or what, where, what bit's going to go where. And the markers really help. They're represented by a star on the patterns. So if you see a star, you need to put in a marker. Get a contrast yarn so, so you can see it. We don't want to knit it in, we're just placing it. So bringing the end stitch out in front of the latch, we're just placing it on the end. And then we're just securing it, make sure it doesn't get caught up in the carriage with the weight. I'm going to do the other side now. Contrast yarn, end stitch, bring it forward in front of the latch, take it back, knit three or four rows. Because this is loose, this isn't secure, this is going to come out. So put a knot in it. And there's usually markers on my diagrams um, where there's a change, either a change in tension or to attach a bodice to a skirt, there'd be a marker. Also, if you needed to make an adaption to your pattern, if you wanted to add more rows or less rows, it's visibly easier if you've got a marker there. And because I do my visual patterns in small multiples of numbers, then it's easy at that point to make a change if you need to, because you've got the markers as a guide as to where you are. I'm now going to show you key seven. It's just a T. Usually the way that the tension is changed is on the carriage and it's a dial on this particular machine. You've got numbers 1 to 10. At the moment we've got it on number 7 which is fine for this particular yarn. But just by turning it round you can go higher or lower. 10 on this machine is the highest tension that we use for slip rows and 1 being the lowest that we'll never use. Roughly, we stay sort of in the middle, but that's how you change it. You haven't got to worry about that because the pattern will say what tension for you to have. So T represents tension. So now we're going to do key eight, which is holding position. We've already covered it in the other key, but just so that you're clear, very clear about what holding position is. Because sometimes the pattern will require you to hold a whole section of the garment. So hold, it's the same, different machines have different ways to make that happen, but it's basically on this machine bringing needles forward. And to stop those needles knitting on this machine, <clears throat> just bring these two levers forward and it won't knit those needles. That concludes 6, 7 and 8 and in our next video we're going to be covering key 9 which is decreasing and key 10 which is increasing. <laughs>